It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Luke Bryan, who once again, one of his uh, truck drivers from seven years ago and now to today, got a tractor trailer stuck under an overpass. Oh, that's never good. Yeah, you know when the uh, the truck goes on a uh, parkway or something like that where it's not meant to be and uh, basically slices the top open like a can opener? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that's never good. So, uh, not sure if it's the same driver, but seven years ago it happened on Long Island, either going to or leaving, I think it was leaving uh, a Jones Beach show, uh, went on the wrong road, and it just happened the other day in Chicago as well. Oh, no. No, it messes up everything. I mean, every it affects the traffic for hours. It's a whole mess. Yeah, really uh, not great, and I'm curious if it's the same driver. We don't know that. Oh, I hope yeah. not. Um, Cole Swindell, we are just, what, three, four days away? Depends how you look at it, right? Depends how you count days, but uh, we are getting very close to Saturday. Uh, Cole Swindell, big show at the Catholic Health Amphitheater at Bald Hill. Get those tickets at Ticketmaster.com. They are dwindling. Uh, big news for Travis and Jason Kelsey, the brothers. Oh, they're raking it in. Their New Heights podcast is now going to Amazon, and they're getting, for three years, $100 million. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. I mean, wow. But it's a good podcast, really. I enjoy it. Yeah, look, if you have a product uh, people want to hear, then you're getting paid. That's just the way it is. That's the way it is. Good for them. Now, I'm a, call me an idiot if you want. This means that you will not only be able to hear the podcast, but you can see it on Amazon Prime, like Amazon Video? I believe so, yes. Okay, very good. You're not an idiot. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy Allen White said he went down a YouTube rabbit hole in order to research Bruce, Spring Bruce Springsteen for his upcoming uh, biopic that he's doing on the way. Hmm, what does that mean? What he? What do you mean? What does it mean? He went down a rabbit hole. You. Uh, that okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be kind, Candy. That yeah. means that um, when you get caught up watching video after video after I video. I see. All right. So you are you're down that rabbit hole a lot. Is that what yes. You're All yes. right. All right. Yes. Uh, Elton John has a documentary hitting Disney Plus on December 13th, if you like. Oh, yes. Uh, remember how they said Yellowstone Season 5 would be the last season, Candy? They did say that, didn't they? Uh, there is a rumor, it's not confirmed, but there might be Season 6. They might be coming back. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, might be in the works. That's just early chatter. And... Uh, this, I love this story. Last one for you. Uh, Marty Friedman, who was in the band Megadeth, says, uh, he was telling a story. He was being in, interviewed for something. And he said, you know, back in the day, I got a call from Kiss. They were looking for a guitarist. Um, I forget who they would be replacing, but they were interested in him. And he got as far as a phone conversation because they asked him how tall he was. And he said five foot seven, and they said, "Sorry, we have a six foot requirement." Really? I didn't I had no realize. No idea. There was a height requirement in rock and roll. I mean, I knew Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons and Ace Frehley, for that matter, were tall, but I didn't realize. And good for them, you know. By the way, he understood. Marty understood. He said, "Listen, uh, they have a certain." aura to uphold they wanted people who were big and then put on the boots and looked even bigger he goes i understood and he also went on to say if he could have found a surgery back then to oh, make oh, him oh. taller he would have done it, it hurts that hurts i understand nothing you can yeah. do about it that's the sad part being a short person yeah. Uh, TV, ABC, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, NBC, America's Got Talent. Uh, also on NBC tonight, a two-hour Toby Keith special. Nice. And Hulu with a new show called Documentary, sort of like a series called After Baywatch, where they actually uh, meet up with like 30 or 35 different Baywatch cast members to see where are they now. Oh, 
That yeah. could be interesting for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, it's four episodes, just so oh. you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there you have it, your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. We're looking at a hot one, humid. We could be in the 90s today. Uh, and then cooling down tomorrow, we'll get back uh, down to normal. Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.